You desire actually desires you even more than you desire it. And it's trying to find you right now. And I'm going to explain how this sums up the entire thesis of the law of assumption and that creation is already finished. And that, and that everything that you desire is actually trying to find you right now. This McLaren behind me went way out of its way to find me because it wanted me more than I wanted it. Because I was playing these scenes out in my imagination and while I'm driving my other cars that I'm driving a McLaren. I already possessed it. Creation is finished. And this McLaren felt that, okay? And it came to me. And the law of thought transmission was a big part of this. How I manifested this car to come in my life. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break this all down to you in this video. That way you can understand about how creation is finished and how what you want actually wants you even more than you want it. And this is the law of assumption. And this is how you create, this is how you magically create things to come into your world. So what I did with this technique was every time I drove in one of my other cars, I had the, I would catch my, my attention. Every time I was in one of my other cars, I would stop myself, catch, grab a hold of my attention with present moment awareness. And I would say, this is a McLaren that I'm, this is a, this is a carbon fiber edition McLaren GT. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, this is the car that I'm driving right now. I'm actually driving this car right now. And I hold my attention on that as I'm going around corners and I bring my mind back when it go, drifts away, I bring it back, I bring it back, I bring it back as much as I possibly can when I'm driving. And more importantly, as I'm going to sleep at night, I'm visualizing doing things in my house, around my house where the vehicle, where this McLaren is already parked in my garage. So I have that in the back of my mind. I'm doing things, I'm walking through my house and then I walk into the garage and I see the McLaren in there. So, and what this does is it creates a feeling um, of naturalness, of the acceptance of the end, the secret of feeling that Neville Goddard explained. It's not the excitement, it's not an emotion, it's the acceptance of the end the acceptance of the end, the natural new version of yourself that already has it and has already had it for six weeks, 12 weeks, six months. What, you're getting past the transactional point of your manifestation, getting way past this transactional point and becoming this version of yourself that is, is completely natural now owning a, a, an exotic supercar. Because if you start, if you create an imaginal act that is right at the transaction, like you're driving it off from the dealership, it's going to create a lot of excitement where it creates this separation from thinking of and thinking from what you're trying to manifest. And that is the key to manifestation and creation is already finished. So when you're thinking of something, it, you're, you're essentially saying it's not yours. When you feel that super excitement for something, you're usually thinking of it because it's outside of your state of consciousness. And when you think of having it, you're thinking of having it, it creates this excitement. But when you become the version of yourself that is visualizing yourself already having the car for six weeks or 12 weeks, it's like, this is who you are. Now, when you're thinking of it, it's not super exciting. It's more of a natural acceptance of you now owning this vehicle now for quite some time and you can do this with anything so when you're falling asleep create a visual scene that pushes it way past that way way past the initial transaction okay and this is the secret to manifestation whatever you're trying to create from thinking of and thinking from that neville goddard talked about that will really assist you and i want to talk a little about my mclaren in the back i know the last video that i made i told you that i was manifesting a McLaren and I told you I was going to have it and I told you that I would that I made a request to a salesperson at the McLaren dealership for this car and they said there's no way that we're going to give you this car for that price and I said that's fine you don't have to I don't I could I can go without it I'm not attached to this car whatsoever I have plenty of cars I don't need to absolutely have this car oh my gosh I need this car right now I said that's fine if they don't want to accept it but I want you to take this to your sales manager I want you to go all the way to the top and I want you to tell them my my request for the price that I want this car. That's all I that's all I'm asking you to do. You don't have to do anything else. You could tell me that you you could tell me tell me you're blue in the face that they're not going to accept it. I don't I don't care what you say. In my imagination, I know that I already have this car. 
And if it's not gonna come from you, it's gonna come from somewhere else. So I'm, and I'm totally fine with, I didn't tell him that. But in my own imagination, this is how I truly felt about manifesting the McLaren. And after I made that video with you guys explaining what I had just done, I told the salesperson um, that I totally lowballed their offer and that they weren't going to accept it. And I told them that I didn't care. And I, told, and I told you that I would make this video after I had manifested that McLaren and literally 30 seconds, no longer than two minutes. If I, I don't remember exactly how long it was, but it was just a moment of time when I was in the garage and I walked inside, I got a text from that salesperson that said, they have accepted your offer deal. And that's what it said, deal in caps. And then I, then I said, okay, on my way. So I put my clothes on everything and I drove down there and I got it. And as I'm over there and I'm test driving it, I was like, it, the, the feeling wasn't super, super exciting. Even though it was like, wow, this is a cool car. You know, this is an awesome car. This twin turbo V8, you know, super quick and it handles great. It's got the, you know, it's got the, the, the doors that come straight up and um, the carbon fiber edition. And it's, and it's got the ceramic, the ceramic brakes, and it's just so, but it was like, it wasn't super exciting to me. I absolutely love the car, but it had this, and, it, and this is what it does when you start imagining like this, because you're already that version of yourself that owns it. So it, it, it eliminates the super excitement, like it's away from you, like it's too good for you. Once you have the feeling of naturalness, it's like you're in that state where this is just who you are. Like this is what you drive. This, these are the things in life that you attract to you. And it's not something super crazy out of your, your field of view, your, you know, your purview or who you are currently with your current state of consciousness. It is, it is within that, that sphere of that realm of who you are. And it's, and it's more of a feeling of acceptance of the end and not, uh, not this super ex excitement. And that's truly how I felt with it. And I knew that I was going to get it. And after I got the car, if, 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 and I, and I, I could explain this and go and talk to the salespeople, talk to the sales manager, the owner of McLaren, and I could ask him why he decided to sell me this car for so much cheaper than he normally would. And there would be a very good reason, a very good reason why he did that. If I were to go ask him, he would believe that those thoughts actually originated from him when they actually originated from me. But if I were to go follow the sequence of events and the people and ask them, why did you sell me this car for that, for that cheap? They would have a very good reason for that. And they would tell me, well, you know, I just, I just drank a big cup of coffee and I was feeling great. And I had all these positive things all of a sudden happen in my life. And I just decided to do something good for someone today. Or he was a repeat customer and it was all this other stuff going on. And, you know, uh, I haven't talked to my mom in 10 years and all of a sudden she called me. And then I want, and then I, when that happened, or my you know, my ex-wife is no longer divorcing me all of a sudden, and something happened in their life that created this 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 state of gratitude and appreciation for life, and they're like they wanted to do something good for someone, and I happened to be right in front of them as soon as that happened, and that's how the law of the thought transmission works. It will absolutely change everything in your world and create these massive gains in your life. And the thoughts that they had and encountered that make that made them give me that deal for this car, they think that those thoughts originated from them. They don't understand that they actually originated from me. And you could never tell them that it, that it didn't originate from them because those thoughts, they truly feel that those were their thoughts and they're, they're gonna take that all the way to their grave, that those thoughts originated from them. But they actually originated from my state of the magnetic feeling, the state that I, that I was in, the natural feeling of owning this car was, is why they did what they did and, and the things that happened in their life that led that up to me purchasing this vehicle. It was actually me. So when you get into this feeling that sums up the law of assumption that whatever you want and desire actually desires and wants you even more, once you get into this state, you are going to line up with the frequency of already having everything that you desire. And you're gonna get into that natural feeling state and the acceptance of the end of how, and you can pick and choose what you want in your life in this state. And you're gonna get each and every one of them. Every single one of them you're going to get by understanding that whatever you want wants you even more. What you want is trying to find you. 
right now. Everything that you desire. The only thing that's holding these things up is your current state of consciousness. Is the fact that you are thinking of it. Like it's too good for you. It's not too good for you. You can have it all. Just master these states of consciousness. Develop your attention. Develop your present moment awareness. Get into these new states. Get, set reminders. Get into a community where you get reminders. Where you have, where you're surrounded by people that are doing the same things that are going to hold you accountable. <clears throat> these things really, it really isn't that difficult to train your mind this way, and and to get to the level where you truly understand that you can have whatever you want and whatever you want wants you even more. You can truly, truly get there. I love you all. And I'm going to make some more videos, maybe some short videos with the, uh, with the McLaren. I'm going to show you all the features, the carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber pack with the ceramic wheels. Um, it's, it's an insane car. It's absolutely just that's the funnest thing to drive to. It's just amazing. So I'm going to make more content with the McLaren and I'm going to post that probably on Instagram and YouTube, but I'm going to continue to make content surrounding that. And we're going to go to the next level. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.